Hey there, welcome back to Richard's Toy Room, and we're working on the Lincoln again. So, I almost forgot to record this. I, somebody had asked me if there's any more videos coming, and I said, yeah, I got a stupid master cylinder failed on this thing. So, I figured, what the hell, there might be some people out there that don't know how to do it. I'm sure there's probably 10,000 videos on YouTube already, but this is specifically for the 78 Lincoln with the 460. And so, I'll... Uh, I'm not going to be super, super detailed in it, but I'm going to kind of just go over the um, the high points and, 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 and uh, you know, show you each step and, and kind of what you need to do. So why don't we get a little closer and I can, uh, we can start. Well, the first thing is I highly recommend you put some fender covers down. You don't need these exact ones, even a old blanket or t-shirt I don't know it's something that so you're not gonna when you lean over you're not gonna scratch the paint you know with your belt buckle or tools or whatever you know you want to protect your car if you love your car so we start with that next thing is you have to find your master cylinder it is right there this thing here if you don't know that maybe you shouldn't be trying to do this yourself <laughs> I'm kind of being funny all right so the best thing to do is to break the lines free and then just uh, tighten them by hand uh, enough so they're not dripping so that you can get them out quickly when you're ready. There's two different size wrenches. Hang on a second. It likes to focus on the farthest thing away so I have to adjust the camera a little bit. So uh, one of this, uh, one of the fittings on, on the, uh, the lines that go into mass cylinder, there's two of them and I'll show you them in a minute. Uh, one of them is uh, half inch, and you're going to want to use one of these flared wrenches so you don't uh, strip it out. I mean, they're not 100% necessary, but if you have some problem, you could round off that nut, and then that's not going to be fun. And the uh, the other one is seven sixteenths. Now, the next thing you're going to want is a socket. And this is a 9 sixteenths, if you can read that. There we go. That's to get the bolts off, and I'm going to show you that in a second. Now, one of the, I mean the nuts, not the bolts, the nuts that are holding the master cylinder to the, uh, not the brake booster, but the uh, hydro boost system. These don't have a brake booster, vacuum booster. Um, so you want to get one with... Um, an extension on it. Go back far enough so you can see this. An extension on it. And then, in order to get this one on this side, if you can see that, you have to go between the lines onto the nut. Let me get that in there so you can see what I'm showing you. Now do you see the end of the socket down there is on the nut on the, on the ear of the master cylinder and it's going through the two brake lines that go into the side of the master cylinder which you can now see. Uh, that one there is the half inch one and this one's the smaller one on this side. Okay. On the other side of the master cylinder, you see there's the stud from the brake booster sticking out, and that's the other nut. There's a bracket on there that holds the brake lines, or maybe some wiring, I'm not 100% sure. And uh, you, might, you want to make sure that you put that back on when you're done. There's actually another nut behind it, so there's two nuts. There's a, a nut, a bracket, and then another nut holding the master cylinder to the booster. So you'll have to take a total of three nuts off of there. Now I'd recommend that you pull, loosen the lines and then pull all those nuts off so the master cylinder is ready to go when you have the other one bled. And there's no need to empty it. Um, the lid comes off with that metal bracket there. Uh, let me show you how to get that off. So you're basically going to want a big ass screwdriver. <laughs> and then you take it and you put it in Either side, it doesn't matter. You can do it either way. It'll pivot either way. You just put it like this and pry. It's easier to go this way. 
but I can't barely reach it from where I'm standing. But you're going to want to put it like that and then pull hard and it'll pop off. It won't break. Yeah, I know I got a big mess going on here. I'm slowly kind of getting my garage area back in order. It's just stuff piled everywhere, but it just got this crappy little vise, but it'll work. So what you see is you have to clamp one of the ears of the master cylinder into a vise. This is the easiest way to do it. And if you have this tool here, then you're lucky. This is a brake bleeding tool. And you just uh, make it the size of, you know, between how uh, far the ear is, the, ear, the mounting hole to the center hole. There's like four different sizes in this thing. And you just move it, it's adjustable. And then you simply, I'm just gonna do it real slow because there's no fluid in it and I don't wanna ruin anything, but you just pull back like this until it goes all the way and bottoms out. And you, then you back it out again, the same slowly. Then you take, you have to get one of these tools. It's basically, I think it even might even come with some master cylinders. I've had this forever. I, you can buy them at, you know, AutoZone or whatever, one of the places, they're, they're cheap. It's basically just uh, a couple of pieces of clear plastic tubing and a couple of fittings that have um, really tiny, like needle tapered ends that fit into the holes of the, uh, where the fittings go in. And then the end of it, just sits down in there and then when you pump it it you can see the bubbles going through and you do it until there's no more bubbles now you might get a little bit leaking out of here that's why I have these two cups here to catch any drips in case but if it is you want to try to get as little as possible because that means you may get air bubbles when you release it back out again so just use new brake fluid and uh, you know just pour it in there and then the other one and and here's the cap in case you wonder what it looks like it's got a rubber seal and I'll show you when I put that back on but um, yeah uh, I mean you really don't need to see me bleed it. I just showed you the whole process. You just have to watch for the bubbles. And, uh, and then when you're done, usually the master cylinders come with little plugs that thread in to the uh, where the fittings go. And you thread these back in, give them a nice oomph so they don't leak. Um, and put the lid on. And... Even um, with the lid on and the lid uh, with the clamp closed, they won't leak too much because it's creating sort of like a, a vacuum. But this is just, your, you know, so you don't make a mess and, uh, you know, double uh, cross your fingers, whatever you want to call it. Double good. So the next step after that's all bled is to swap the master cylinders and reverse the process that I showed you on the uh, car a few minutes ago and um, then you get to do the fun part of bleeding all four wheels so that's where we will return to the video we'll actually be ready to bleed the four wheels everything will be uh, swapped out and ready to go all right so there it is the new master cylinder is all blood got all the air out of it back in hooked up everything's back the way it was Except now it's new, nice and shiny. So now we have to bleed the brakes. And um, while you're doing that, you're basically uh, gonna be replacing all the rest of the fluid that's in the system. So you'll wanna bleed them until it comes out clear. And you start from the uh, farthest one away, which would be the uh, passenger side rear, and then the driver's side rear, and then the passenger front and the driver's front. Okay, so here we are. We're going to bleed the right rear wheel first. We've got the tire off and um, we have our jack stand under there for safety. Um, I pulled off the drum just to check the brakes. They look fine. They got plenty of 
life left in them. Um, I mean, they look like they're getting low on the rivet, but I mean, these get so little use and not to mention, don't drive the car that much to begin with. Well, you look in here and you can just see if you got any like leakage coming from anywhere. Um, I don't see anything really bad. I mean, the master sil or the uh, wheel cylinder, I don't know, it looks a little kind of moisty, but I don't really see anything dripping. And what you would do is you pull back these things here, but I really just don't feel like messing with it right now. Um, if any liquid drips out of there, then that's bad and you should replace it. It's not that big a deal. Anyway, you're gonna go on the back here and this right here, doing this upside down, is the bleeder valve. So you're gonna to wanna to grab your flare wrench and I believe it's 3 eighths. Let's see. Yep. And then you're just gonna to wanna to crack that open and, and let it start dripping. Uh, you gotta take the cap off the master cylinder so that it has um, no vacuum on it so it can freely drip. And what I would normally do is I would let it drip until it starts coming out clear. Then you know that whole line has been purged of the old fluid. Then tighten it back up, then have a helper pump your brake three or four times and then hold it like they're like they're trying to stop the car. And you come back here and you'll crack this open. And if there's any air, it'll sputter and puff out any air. If it just comes out liquid, you're good and you're good to go. If not, you uh, repeat that process until all you get is liquid. You don't wanna um, really push hard when you're doing it because then, you know, it's hard to, hard to tell if you're getting air or not. So, you know, just uh, gently push down as they're uh, as you as you release this and uh, make sure you keep an eye on the fluid and top it off and you just repeat that for uh, the other left or the other uh, rear and then go to the uh, right front and the left front and repeat the process and then you're done and just uh, top off your master cylinder fluid and uh, you're all set to go